5.20, another 40, another 40 minutes to the sunrise. Hi there, after weeks and weeks of a rainy day, of cloudy days, uh, grey days, it was a completely cloudless night, so I was doing some stars. Uh, I came here at like 3 o'clock, now it's uh, 20 to 6, so in about 20 minutes from now, roughly around 6 o'clock, the sun should rise basically above the middle of the stage. And this is something which I wanted to do already for a number of years, but either I couldn't come or the weather didn't play. Let's hope today will be much better. I have actually two cameras today. I'm testing, uh, so I want to do some 4K, uh, I want to do some 4K footage here with this uh, one DC. And uh, so once the sun is slightly above the horizon, I will be doing it. Can you hear the birds? It's day now, the sun is coming. 20 minutes from now. So let's uh, retrain the shot. Wow, the light is completely different. So ISO 100, F5.6. And of course I have to change everything now because the, the last picture I took was about half an hour ago and was still relatively dark. So let's look at the histogram. Well, it's still half a second for the time being. Let's just make sure we leveled. I just want to make a slight correction here. What I have here, I have a 24 uh, tilt shift lens. Um, once the camera is leveled, I, I shifted it slightly upwards. So I don't want to have this distortion. Those two towers, which are the light towers, I want to have them really vertical and they are the, like at the edges of the frame. Can you hear the birds? Well, theoretically, it's 10 minutes. We'll see. We'll see. There is a little bit of haze above the horizon. Uh, but generally, it's clear. So uh, I might not get the very, very beginning of the sunrise, but definitely I will see the sun. The question is how, uh, how high above the horizon and in which exact position. Because what you see on Google Maps, uh, it's not 100% accurate. Well, we'll see. But the weather looks good, so I'm quite, I'm quite confident. I'm always, I'm always nervous a little bit in those last few minutes because I don't know, I mean, I, I framed the shot, but I don't know exactly where the sun will come up. Uh, so I decided to come, so I came here to, really to, uh, to make a test and hopefully next week the weather will play the game as well it'd be good enough and i'll be able to get some uh, to get the real picture i'm shooting in adobe color space and i'm doing it especially today on purpose because hopefully i'll get some nice picture uh, together with the picture which i took uh, two or three weeks ago by the daniel river I want to combine this picture into the second part of the video, which I shot, as, as I said, two or three weeks ago, about a uh, different way of post-processing. I mean, with the Lightroom, but actually more in Photoshop using LAB Lab color mode to really saturate the, 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 the picture, to get the boost of the colors but not oversaturating it. The LAB lab color mode is much, much wider uh, color space and it's easier to really get some fantastic results, much easier uh, than using uh, RGB uh, color modes. And with RGB, it's easier to really overdo it. I see the sun, but as expected is not 
is not in the middle, but I have it, I have it, it's just coming. Look at it. So let's take, uh, wow, it's fantastic. It's just getting through the clouds, through the horizon. Yes, yes, but I have to, let me take quickly this picture. And uh, I have to change the lens to 7200. Let's double check. Yeah, because with the wide angle, I don't really see the rising sun. Let's do in the meanwhile this quick pan with this 4K footage. I have to come back here in a week. I should have brought the I should have brought the 300 but yeah this is now at least I know where it's coming so I have a better I know better where to expect it okay it's just coming out of horizon it's almost the full sun I want to underexpose it a lot so hundreds of a second so I'm actually underexposing it now. So it's hundred of a second. I saw I saw 100. So now the sun is above the horizon. Let me do a, a little, little bit wider shot. At the moment, which is unusual for me, I don't have any filters. I'm shooting it in uh, Adobe Color Space. I'm underexposing by about a third of a stop, but looking at the histogram, I prefer to have it underexposed because I don't want to kill the uh, I don't want to kill the the sun. In terms of I don't want to glow it. really expecting it the sun more, much more closer to uh, to the middle of the stage so obviously the Google map is cheating but nevertheless it's good so now I have a good point of reference for the next uh, for next trip so I will come I will exactly check what the Google what Google Maps was showing me yesterday as I know where it's coming, because now the sun, with every minute, is going away. So it's not moving this direction, it's going the opposite. So basically, what I wanted to do is done. I might to take some additional pictures somewhere else. Yeah, but the ND grad makes a huge difference. The sun is quite high, so I think I have to move to a different place but the, by the lake. I'll try to get some more uh, morning mood shots. It was definitely worse to come. Really nice sunrise. It was a bit hazy, unfortunately. I mean, I cannot really say unfortunately that there were not a little bit of clouds because I've, 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 it's, it's a perfect sunrise. Sometimes it's a little bit better when there is, there are some little small clouds, but uh, after a number of weeks when it was completely gray and wet, this was fantastic.